Hi there, it's Amy Chapel from Amarini Designs and today I'm here to share with you how to create a Lazy Daisy Stitch. Today we're going to use our Lazy Daisy Stitches to create this heart accent on this felt um, embellishment that I have on my little fabric banner here. But Lazy Daisy Stitches can be used to um, create flowers and lots of different um, leaves and, and things like that, so it's a very versatile stitch. Um, I wanted to mention that I am using this Stick and Stitch printable um, water-soluble adhesive. Um, you'll print your pattern on this if you decide to use it. You'll print your pattern on it. Um, do your stitching right through it, and then um, water will wash it away to remove the pattern. I found it's a super easy way to transfer embroidery patterns onto felt, um, but you can transfer your pattern any way you like. To begin, we are going to use our um, needle, um, and I have three strands of DMC floss on here today. You can use um, as many strands as the pattern calls for, or as you like. So to begin our Lazy Daisy stitch, we are going to come up through the base um, of where the pointy end of our stitch will be, and we are going to pull it all the way up and then I'm going to hold my floss out of the way. I like to use my hand that I'm using to hold it to do that. And then we're going to come right back down into the same spot that we came up from. So right there at the point of our petal. And we're going to pull some of our floss through to create a loop. And then I'm going to bring my needle back up through the top of where my petal is going to be. So I want it to be right at the very top of my petal shape. You can kind of see where my needle's coming out right there. And then I am going to pull my floss until my loop kind of forms the size of the petal that I want to create or leaf. Then to hold this loop into place, I'm going to take my floss, uh, my needle and I'm going to bring it in just on the opposite side of the floss that forms that loop. And it will just create a small little stay stitch that will hold the top of my petal into place. To complete the heart that I'm creating today, I'm going to again come back right through that bottom point because I want my two um, Lazy Daisy petals to touch and connect at the bottom to create that heart shape. Again, I'm going to create my loop, bring my needle back down into that same point, pull my floss to create the loop, bring my needle up at the very top of what will be my petal shape, pull the floss to create my loop, my petal, and then tack it in place with a stitch just on the opposite side of my floss. And there you have a Lazy Daisy stitch. Super fun, I think they make the cutest hearts, they make darling flowers, perfect leaves. It's a super fun stitch to have in your embroidery arsenal. Happy stitching everybody!